Hi, my name is Perry Good with Lund Boats, and today we're going to talk about the top 10 items that you should have in your boat before you head out on any fishing excursion. Number one, probably the most important thing is to have life jackets for everybody on board. I, I love these. Um, usually when I'm uh, fishing, I'll put this thing on and I'll wear it all day long. And especially if you're out by yourself fishing, you never know when you know you, you could you fall in and the boat would drift away from you. If you don't have a life jacket on, you're probably, unless somebody's close to that can pick you up, you're probably toast. So make sure you have life jackets for everybody that fit good. If you have young kids on board, make sure you have have the right sizes for them also. Number two, state law, a throwable device. Every boat is required to have a throwable device in the boat. Number three, I would say, is having rope in case you break down that you can be towed back in. Very important. Number four, well, maybe as important as a life jacket, is good sunscreen. I mean, I, I use a lot of different kinds, but 50, I use 50, and I tell you what, I know a lot of people that have gotten cancer over the years from not you know, applying sunscreen when they should, and it's, it's becoming a bigger issue all the time, so huge sunscreen. Um, another thing that I carry on board, and it is a law that you have to have a fire extinguisher, my, now mine hasn't been out of the box yet, but you know that's because I've never had to use it. But you should always have a fire extinguisher and make sure that it it isn't expired. So there is a date on it when they expire, and they usually last like a good five years or so before you have to get a new one. But there is an expiration date on it. Um, another thing that I carry along is a jump starter kit. Now I got a this one here, nice little compact, and it'll start any car or any motor or so if your batteries just happen to go dead on you you just keep it I keep it in the glove compartment it's a good little insurance policy that's for sure um, first aid kit I actually carry a little toilet paper along also but you never know when you might get cut or get a get a hook in your finger or, and it's very key to have a first aid kit on board um, I do carry my cell phone with me at all times, but I also have a marine radio, which I can listen to as far as for storms, or you can contact um, the DNR or the sheriff through, through these. So um, before cell phones came around, it was essential to have this on board. Now, now not so much, but I, I carry both just in case. Um, very important to have a good pair of sunglasses along, not only for your fishing, but just to protect your eyes. I mean, the, the sun is bad for your eyes, and but you can, if you're sight fishing, having a good pair of polarized sunglasses is huge, especially if you're in clear water. Um, I think it's very important to have a variety of, of different tools on board. I carry hook sharpener, uh, wire cutter, in case I have to cut a hook, um, pliers, screwdriver, and good sharp scissors. These little rapala scissors are great for cutting fire line and mono. And last but not least, well, second to last, I always carry rain gear on board. You never know when a storm's gonna come up or even if you have a day where it's very windy and you know, you're in six foot waves, it's, it can save you, you know, especially if it's cold out, having a good, good, elect, or a good um, pair of rain wear on board. And I would say last but not least is to have a good net. And I, I love this net. Lun made this net for me a couple, couple years ago. It's a hockey stick. Um, it's not extendable, but I've, in the two years I've had this, I've caught a lot of fish and, and saved a lot of fish right at the boat. So um, having a good, a good landing net that you can store you know, in the boat without getting in the way. Um, you know, you have all have all this stuff and board and stuff, and it's uh, you're probably gonna have a pretty good day fishing. So, um, 
Yeah, so the next time you go fishing, make sure you have these 10 items on board and it'll make for a, a very enjoyable and safe excursion.